Okay, so we got a crazy, crazy um, video to share with you guys today. Uh, like you guys probably see in the title, the threat of, I don't know, bobcat slash house cat slash, you guys said it was something else. Leave me some comments down below what you guys think it is. But um, we took it out, we took it out. It's actually been a couple nights ago. I'm just now getting to post it, make this video for you and post it for you all. Um, but we, Brandy, found the big cat on top of Oreo and we all thought that Oreo was dead. Um, so we're gonna get into that. But real quick, I wanna tell you guys, um, we have a merch sale, brand new merch sale. It's the first one of the year and only one of the year um, on our website. I'm gonna put links down below in the, in the description box and a pinned comment. It's www.homesteadingwithdutch or keeping it Dutch. We'll both get you to the website. Just click the links down below if you guys are interested in, um, we got, I think, three hoodies and three t-shirts. And they're really cool. I'll put them up on screen and you guys can see what they are. But uh, once these are uh, or placed, the order's placed, we won't be having any extras of these like we had the other ones. This is a one order and done, and um, we won't ever have these ones again. So if you guys are interested and you guys want to support us on some merchandise, I know a lot of you guys like the hoodies and stuff. Uh, and definitely that will get to you guys before Christmas. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get them in myself because they're going to be super comfortable. And um, we love... Um, new merch whenever we do it once a year we do a launch we've been trying to do it in the fall like right now so like i said if you guys are interested please click the links below this is only going to be going on until friday um, night i think um we're i'm just now getting to share with you guys so um check that out if you would so are you all all you ladies happy the threat is gone hmm you can actually roam in peace wish we would have got it sooner let me show you guys that footage of that um, of what went down and then we'll pick back up and I'll finish telling you guys what I seen um, Because my camera died um, that night whenever I was filming for you guys. Okay, something crazy Just happened. I'm out filling up the generator to charge some batteries and I hear Sean <laughs> You hear that a lot though. Yeah, I'm like what now? And then so I filled the generator up and I said I said what they said the cat's back So that means the bobcat I was thinking yeah. So I hear honk, honk. I'm like, what are they doing? So I go get the rifle. I come running over here. Brandy almost recorded it, but didn't quite get it done. No, almost. I was, I'm a horrible YouTuber. Like I was in shock and thought, you're blinding me. I'm trying to see you. I thought Oreo, me and Hayden thought Oreo was dead. And so we were freaking out. So the last thing I thought of was, oh, let's record this. As I'm yelling, hey, turn your camera on as I'm running over here. And I was turning it on as I heard a shot in my ear. So, right Did here. Can I tell you what happened? Yeah, go ahead and tell me what happened real quick. Hold on, I can't see you though. I know, but you're... Shine this light so they can see you. How? Mm, there you go. Um, okay, so the normal routine is Hadley and Hope had fed the animals. I'm not even looking at the camera, I guess. That's fine. Hadley and Hope um, normally, or had fed the animals because Hayden and I were gone. Well, the chickens and the turkeys and stuff aren't up when it's light out when they fed them. So now that it's dark, <clears throat> we were putting the chickens and the turkeys up. As you came home from basketball. Yeah, as we came home from basketball practice. Also, the cats didn't have food, so I stopped at the dollar store, got food. So when I pulled up, I parked like right here by the chicken coop. We pulled up and I was like, come here kitty, 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 kitty. And I saw Millie coming. No, no, at first I didn't see Millie, but I saw two eyes over here. Where, shine over there. Like, right there but okay. that's the same spot so i saw two eyes over there well i was like okay it's one of them duh well as i keep saying it they're not walking that way and that's not like them as soon as we pull up they want to eat yeah, and they so they run come running and so then i'm like what well then all of a sudden millie comes out over by me so i'm like okay it's not millie so it's oreo well i'm saying oreo oreo kitty and like he's not moving well then i start hearing all these weird noises like Gra like kind of like growling like i don't even yeah it's like screeching gr growling what yeah like growling and so then i'm like what in the world so hayden's like we had to get dad so that's when i was hollering at you but then we circled around and i shined my brights right there and it started honking well i probably shouldn't have done that but we could see the cat the big cat like looking straight at us and then oreo was facing it but he was kind of laying on his side. So I'm like, oh my god. Did gosh. you ever see him move? No. And so I was like, okay, did it kill Oreo? So Hayden starts bawling. Like, or I wasn't bawling. I was like in shock. 
So I'm like, oh my gosh, it's freaking killed Oreo. Well, then I honked because I was trying to see if I honked if Oreo would run off. Well, he didn't, but then I was like looking and I'm like, I thought I saw him breathe and his tail move a little bit. Well, then when you can, and I kept honking because I was thinking maybe he would. As I'm getting my move. rifle running over so here. So when he comes over here and I was getting ready, I was thinking about recording then when you yelled it, but then I was just afraid you were going <coughs> to shoot. Like we told him he killed Oreo. So then I was afraid he was going to just shoot Brandy, I'm aimless. A I'm a dead eye when it comes with the okay, rifle. Okay, so you'd be the guy who's like, they have someone hostage yes. and you make it, yes. right? I'm but I just pictured Oreo was going to get shot too, even if he hadn't been killed. So then when you shot, Oreo took off and, uh Yeah. Sorry, that was <clears throat> traumatizing. So first of all, I'm a dead eye when it comes with a uh, rifle. I have missed this cat twice with my pistol as it was running. Yeah, but this, I'm picturing, like, he literally... He has Oreo hostage and so, you're just going to shoot when I run it. up, all I see is, is this bobcat. I'm calling him a bobcat. We'll look at it here in a minute. It's bo I see the bobcat like over the top of Oreo. Okay, guys. So you all be the judge. It, I, thought, I said from the beginning, it looks like a bobcat slash house cat. And a lot of you guys have seen this. So this is a female cat. I bet it's every bit of 20 pounds. Maybe a little bit bigger. People were Look saying at it, Brandy. Maybe a juvenile yeah. one. How would you be like? Its ears aren't as bobcatty. I don't know. Whatever the word would be. Well, usually they got like. It's more. But more it could more. be a young one. It's a huge cat. Yeah, bobcat. You're gonna have to put a warning on that. Look, Brandy. No, it looked it looked meaner than all get out over there. Like it was not letting Oreo out of its sight. He was, Hold on. He took off. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get some light for you guys. You're gonna have to put a warning. People don't want to see this. Uh, I'll give them a warning before. But look, guys. Let me go check out Millie's. Where do you think it? Okay, go get Millie and bring her over here. I think it's. Let me go. I don't know what it is. I'm not walking over there. Are you crazy? <laughs> are you serious? Here. I don't want to walk over there. All right. Well, ahead. we'll finish this. We'll finish this video up in the morning. This it just happened within like uh, four minutes of Brandy coming over I'm here. I'm a bad YouTuber. <laughs> no, you did a good job, Brandy. Like, I don't. I said record it, yo. No. no. If if Oreo was not there, yes, we thought Oreo was dead. You both were like in panic and thought he was dead. So. Well, yeah, he's laying there, not moving, and he like when I honked, he didn't turn his head around. It was like that thing was like you better not move type thing. I don't know. So that's the difference, I think, between female and male emotions. Emotions gets the best of female sometimes. Um, not a bad thing. So we're going to go ahead and get everything locked, finish getting everything locked up, and um, we'll pick this back up in the morning. And yeah, this was crazy. Finally got it though. Um, that's the same cat we kept getting on camera. I think it's the same cat that killed Tilly and a chicken, Trudy. I think it's the same cat that killed Trudy and chickens. And I've had this cat on camera for quite a while now. When we, we, did we have like five, five of them come up missing one time or something that's, a while back? Yeah. And yeah. And yeah. That's when, that's when, um, Sue. Yeah. Oh yeah. That yeah. was when it was Sue. Yeah. So I don't know if it used to roam over there and now it's moved yeah, to over true. here. I forgot about but that. But our neighbor, when we showed, didn't you show the pit bulls? Yeah. During that time. She had had some, so we don't know, was it pit bulls, was it this? Yeah. But I mean, this cat is not eating, if it was a house cat, it's not eating like meow mix. It's this thing's good. ginormous. It's taking neighbor's cats or like, uh, chickens off and everything. Giant. Okay, so uh, we'll pick this back up tomorrow, guys. And uh, I'm just glad we finally got it. It was getting brave. I tell you guys, like last video, we were trying to trap it. It was getting brave. And we were getting it all around that trap, but it just wouldn't take the the bait that we had it wanted live bait it wanted a live chicken or a live cat i don't know that was crazy um but brandy thought they thought the cat other cat was dead and when i ran up there i was like well maybe it is because it was just laying there it i didn't know like at one point i saw like a shallow breath but i was like okay you need to then that's why i was afraid if you shot and he wasn't you would accidentally hit so now him. you have confidence in my shooting skills no if i'm held hostage i'm please, saving please your don't life uh-huh so I took the cat out with one well-placed shot to the lungs, guys. There was no suffering involved. It went down, it went down quick, and uh, all is good now. But we can't let our guard down, because what well, if there's another one? We don't know. 
All right, we'll see you guys back tomorrow. Okay, so you guys seen it. You all seen what happened, or you seen the cat. Um, what is it? Like I said before, comments down below. Um, Brandy told you her story whenever, and I'll finish telling you what I was saying before my camera went off. Um, whenever I ran up on it, the cat was stood, like laid up over the top of it, like a bulldog almost, in Oreo, they said Oreo's dead. And all I see is Oreo laid out across the ground, like Brandy said, and not moving at all. So, and Brandy was honking at it. I didn't understand that. I think she was just nervous and was trying to get it because she saw Oreo was dead. I guess trying to get rid of, I don't know. Um, but I came up with the 270, blasted it, it dropped it, and the threat was gone. And this cat was <laughs> way bigger than I anticipated. Um, seeing it in the woods, it was a good size. It's a female, it looks like a young female. Like, I don't know um, exactly what kind of cat it is. I do know it's a wild cat um, that's been attacking our animals and attacked our cat. And if I could find Oreo, it's been, a, like I said, it's been a couple days. Oreo had scratches all over his face. I didn't get any footage of that or pictures. Um, we didn't do a very good job on documenting that part. Let me see if I can find them. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Where's Oreo? Here he comes. There's Oreo. Meow. Oh, they're all running. Y'all ain't getting no cat food. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Meow. Oh, you can still see. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Here, Oreo. You can still see the scratch on his face. He was beat up for a few days. Meow. Meow. Come here. Come here. Come here. You see his face? He was in shock, too. Like, he's fine. Um, but he was in shock. He couldn't even get him to come to us hardly for the last couple days. He has been like hiding out and stuff. I, it was nuts. It was it was really really strange. And I think that's the same cat. Some of you guys remember this months ago. I was out here messing. I can't remember exactly what I was doing. Messing around at the well or house or whatever. And I was trying to put the cats up. And I heard a cat meow. And it was um, the other cat. Uh, Millie up in the tree. Well, when I shot, shot my light up, a big cat ran straight down the tree and took off into the uh, woods. And I, from that day, that's like, like that's a bobcat. And um, so that's, I think, one of the first encounters I had with this thing um, live, live encounter other than pictures and stuff. Um, so this cat has been terrorizing our animals for months and months and months. And uh, I'm just glad we finally took care of the threat. We finally took it out. Um, that was, it's been a headache and uh, we'll walk up here for a minute. Oreo's coming up here. Oreo, you better just stay over there, buddy. So if you guys have been um, following along with us trying to catch the cat in the live trap, um, something kept setting it off. I'm actually going to walk up here. I probably need to leave it set just to see if anything else is roaming around. Um, but we were unsuccessful catching him. But I, we seen him, I think, twice around the trap, but never would go in it. And we were just using some oysters and sardines and stuff. I figured we'd catch a raccoon, but he, the cat was literally all around the trap um, a couple different times that we seen it. And uh, so, I don't know. But we just got it up here in the driveway. Something has got in there and, and eaten the oysters. I don't know what set it off. It could have been that cat. And I don't know, something something happened and uh, it kept getting set off. So we kind of gave up on the trap for right now. Um, but thank, thank goodness we got it. So with all that being said, I really want to know what kind of cat this is. I have no idea. It does, it had a bobtail. You guys probably, probably showed you that. Had a bobtail. But his face looks more like a house cat than a bobcat. But the rest of it had the char characteristics of a bobcat. So I don't know. It's uh, up in the air. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it up to you guys to decide. And tell me what it is down in the comment section. But you can see Oreo is doing fine. Still a little, I think he's still a little, a little nervous acting. But he's starting to get back to his normal self, I think. And all you ladies are just roaming around like you have no worry in the world. Huh, there you go, you just ate a cricket. Hmm? You gonna let me pet you today? You gonna let me pet him. Oh, you always let me pet you. Why are you being so shy and bashful now? Hmm? Come on, come on ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, where's, uh, where's Dallas? Oh no, I haven't heard Dallas today. I have not heard Dallas today at all. But Brandy's been out here feeding him and doing stuff with him. She never said nothing about Dallas being gone. Oh, there, there's Dallas right there. Dallas, what are you doing? 
I thought something happened to you, buddy. I sure did. There you are. People will be asking about you. Dallas the duck. <laughs> there's Bobby. For everyone that wonders where Bobby's at, there's Bobby. What's up, Bob? Bobby's doing good. Okay, so Brandy just posted a video. You guys go check it out. Um, Count it all joy. But she just posted a video a little while ago. We made the transition. We moved Gunner in with um, the two pigs. Hope we don't end up regretting it, but they, they kind of, he was playing with them a lot yesterday and whenever we did it and um, kind of giving each other a hard time. But the, he's kind of mellowed out and kind of, kind of learned their place, I think. But you can see me putting him in there. He was a he was a mess. Huh. Gunner, how you liking your new buddies? Hmm? I don't see you picking on them anymore. Huh? Come here. Come here, Gunner. He loves the pond though, I tell you that. Look at him. She's gonna get you, Gunner. She will. I wouldn't do that. I would not do that, Gunner. She ain't gonna I told you, she ain't putting up with it, buddy. <laughs> so gunner has a lot of energy we've been we're wanting to move him in for a while but we just felt like he was still a little small to be in with these big pigs uh, especially with percy percy's a male he's gentle but you never know um, what can happen but pearl is not putting up with his stuff you leave the chickens alone so what's really weird is when we let gunner out gunner doesn't mess with the chickens but when we moved him into the pen, I don't know if Brandy showed this on her video or not. He's running right through the mud. Um, some chickens were getting in right here, so we kind of blocked it off and left a little space for them to get out. And he wasn't trying to kill them, but he was jumping on them, playing with them. That's what a lot of dogs do. They don't just, at first, they don't try to kill the chicken. All they see is like a squeaky toy. So he was jumping on them and like holding them down, playing with them, which would result in death. So we've had to watch the chickens going in here. Now, usually the chickens go in there and peck around, eat leftover feed and all that stuff. But now we got we got to keep the chickens out of here. And I think they're starting to learn pretty quick. Like, hey, we can't go in there because there's a crazy dog that wants to play with us and potentially eat us. So now he's just kind of like chasing them and stuff. Look at that. Gunner, why can't you just leave them alone? Percy, how you doing, buddy? Oh, really? Gunner. You're just looking at these chickens now like they're your play toy. They're not. You leave them alone. You leave them alone. You liking your new pen? Hmm? You liking your new pen? Pearl, you like your new uh, roommate? You like your new roommate? Hmm? Why'd you just peck me? You just pecked my leg. Why'd you peck me? Hmm? There you go. You let me pet him. Are you gonna let me pet you too? <laughs> You're crazy, Gunner. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll put, if I haven't yet, I'm gonna put some pictures up on the screen so you guys could see um, how big that cat was. Um, it was. It's bigger, it's bigger in person than maybe it looks on camera, but it's a good, it was a good size um, cat and I'm glad that's one threat gone so i think that's all i got for you guys today's video like i said comments down below uh tell me what it is if you guys are interested in our merch launch um it's only going to be on for like till friday evening um so please go check out the links below i love you guys we'll catch you on next video thanks for watching